The year 2020 might feel far away right now, but that hasn't stopped Hollywood's major studios from lining up a slew of projects to compete for your movie budget. Even a couple of years out, some of the upcoming releases on the calendar are highly anticipated sequels, but that isn't all we're expecting to see. The studios have also set up new adaptations of existing properties and all manner of would-be blockbusters, making for what should be an epic year at the movies. Start marking your calendar now, we've rounded up an in-depth look at the biggest releases coming along in 2020. Bad Boys for Life 17 years after the release of Bad Boys 2, audiences will finally get another entry in the Buddy Cop franchise. The film brings back Will Smith and Martin Lawrence as Miami detectives Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett, and the two couldn't be more excited about working together again. I love that dude. That's you He's know, a great guy. One of the best yeah. times I've ever had making movies. I, I love Will. Damn, come on, Martin. <laughs> you know and what it is. And Will loves me, so we gonna do it. While it's been a bumpy road to get the film to the green light, it's full speed ahead for the duo now, and a release date has been set for January 17th. G.I. Joe – Ever Vigilant Seven years after G.I. Joe Retaliation, everyone's favorite action figure-based franchise is set to return. It's unclear which, if any, of the original movie stars will return, as it's rumored to be a reboot, but considering the original cast included everyone from Channing Tatum to Bruce Willis to Dwayne The Rock Johnson, it's hard to imagine we wouldn't see at least some of those A-listers on the call sheet when Movie 3 gets ready for a March 27th debut. Fast and Furious 9 By the time Fast and Furious 9 comes along, Fans of the Speedy franchise will have gotten their first spin-off featuring Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham. Although we don't know much about where the saga is headed next, the pressure to keep upping the stakes should mean it'll find a way to be even more epic than previous installments. With Charlize Theron's Cypher still alive and on the loose at the end of Fate of the Furious, there are lots of opportunities for mayhem. You can probably count on most of your favorite cast members returning, and the franchise's ever-increasing profile means there's always the chance they'll land even more big names to join the family. Audiences will definitely want to drive out to the theater on April 10th. Godzilla vs. Kong Film fans will finally get the answer to the age-old question of which movie monster reigns supreme when Godzilla and King Kong face off on the big screen. Director Adam Wingard has already assured fans that his take on the two monsters will crown a definitive winner, unlike the 1962 film that first put the two characters against each other. Although we still don't know which actors will be part of the fun, there are sure to be some A-listers on board when this epic behemoth battle barrels into the summer box office on May 22nd. The Six Billion Dollar Man Mark Wahlberg will help breathe cinematic life into the 70s small screen series The Six Million Dollar Man by giving the character a raise to The Six Billion Dollar Man. Wahlberg will play Steve Austin, a former astronaut who uses cutting-edge technology to become half-machine in order to survive after an accident, and uses his newfound superhuman strength to work as a secret agent working for the Office of Scientific Intelligence. With its mix of robotics, espionage, and brute physical force, the Six Billion Dollar Man should be an event when it comes along on June 5th. Red Notice Dwayne Johnson is set to re-team with director Rawson Marshall Thurber after working together on Central Intelligence and Skyscraper for 2020's action comedy film Red Notice. The movie will feature Johnson as an Interpol agent chasing after the most wanted art thief in the world. We'll see if The Rock maintains his magic streak at the movies when Red Notice hits theaters on June 12. Indiana Jones 5 This installment of the Indiana Jones films won't feature any lead-lined refrigerators or ill-explained aliens, so if you weren't a fan of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, the franchise's newest outing will get things back on track for you. Everyone involved seems to think the movie will be a course correction, with Harrison Ford saying he only wanted to return if the script was great. Steven Spielberg saying he thinks the movie is, quote, straight down the pike for the fans. <laughs> it's great fun to play this character. It's great fun to work with Steven. I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot of potential for the future of the franchise, and the next film seems like it could bring back the adventure of the original trilogy when it arrives on July 10th. BIOS Tom Hanks will be the last man on Earth in this sci-fi outing. Specific plot details for BIOS are being kept tightly under wraps, but we do know that Hank's character, Finch, is an ailing inventor and the last man left on this planet who builds a robot to protect his beloved dog after his death. 
Although we don't have any concrete details yet, Hanks has shown us many, many times that he's the right guy to lead up any kind of survival story, even completely solo. So count on this one to be a must-watch on October 2nd. Fantastic Beasts 3 While we're still waiting to see what happens in the second Fantastic Beasts and where to find the movie, Warner Brothers is already gearing up for the third film in the franchise. Very little is known about the film at this point, but the series definitely got off to an encouraging start, with the first film earning solid reviews and healthy box office returns. With the second movie bringing in even more Harry Potter connections, and the third likely to build on that further, November 20th is a date you'll want to pencil in on your calendar for more movie magic to come. Avatar 2 We're getting four Avatar sequels over the next decade. So a lot rides on the first one doing well when it hits theaters in 2020. James Cameron's massive undertaking reportedly has a total budget of over $1 billion, allowing the director to fully embrace new technology and make sure that the sequels are as visually stunning as the first chapter. The movies are said to be a family saga about Jake, Natiri, and their children, with many of the film's original cast returning as well. Newcomers to the franchise include Cliff Curtis and Una Chaplin as additions to the Pandora Collective, which will return to theaters December 18th. Sherlock Holmes 3 Robert Downey Jr. is set to return for a third outing as the world's most famous detective in a film that will also feature the return of his co-star Jude Law as John Watson. It's unclear if Guy Ritchie, who directed the first two films, will return, but since it's been nine years since Downey last played the character in A Game of Shadows, it should be interesting to see how his take on Sherlock Holmes has aged when this new leg of the adventure hits theaters December 25th. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Last but certainly not least, Marvel is expected to bring back their intergalactic team of misfits with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. It's unclear who will return following the events of Avengers Infinity War, but we do know it's supposed to offer an epic conclusion to the saga of the Star-Lord's ragtag squadron while helping to potentially launch the next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe.